What are Twitch channel points and how the heck do you even set them up? In this video, I'm gonna show you what Twitch channel points are, how to get them, how to set them up for your stream and the benefits of using them. So if that sounds good to you, then drop a quick like on this video so other streamers can find this video and let me channel point you guys in the right direction. Yeah. We'll go, we'll go with that one. So first things first, what the heck are channel points? Well, if we go to my Twitch channel right over here, we'll go to the chat and then you can gaze your eyes below my webcam here, down here. You'll see this little icon, mine's a little ghost, but you can change the icon to whatever you want. You'll click on it and you'll see that they have different power-ups and rewards with channel points. So basically, people that watch your stream will accrue channel points and they can spend it on different rewards that you can set up and select yourself, like sound effects or just different things like make me take a drink of water and certain things like that. So it's a really nice way to keep your audience engaged and incentivized to keep watching and supporting your stream. So now that we know what channel points are, well, how do you even become eligible for them? And that's actually really easy. You first have to become a Twitch affiliate which if you're unaware, that is what gives you access to the sub button. So you can gift subs and get subs on your channel. And if you're not a Twitch affiliate yet, you have to meet a certain amount of requirements, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. And if you need help growing your stream to getting Twitch affiliate, I have a whole playlist on it in the top right corner on how to grow your stream. But once you've become a Twitch affiliate, all you need to do is go to the top right corner of Twitch when you're logged in, click on your icon, go to creator dashboard. Then from your creator dashboard, we're gonna avert our eyes to the left hand side of the screen where it says viewer rewards and now after an update they've changed it to channel points and power-ups because power-ups are a new feature on twitch as of recent if you do not see this that either means one you're not a twitch affiliate or two you've hit twitch affiliate quite recently because it can take a couple days for this to show up under your account if you've just recently hit twitch affiliate so don't be alarmed if you don't see it and your twitch affiliate you just got to be a little patient sometimes which clearly i know that you guys know that i am not patient at all so i am emphasize with you. But enough yapping already. We're going to click on power ups and channel points right here. This is the page that we're going to be able to control everything about our channel points. And the convenient thing is they've uh, temporarily removed the ability to enable or disable channel points, but we'll restore this feature shortly because they knew I was making a video on this. But literally, it's just a little button that you can turn on and off in case you want to turn channel points on or off. So this is literally what we're missing out on. So you're not missing out on anything. So moving on to the next section, we have customized points display. And this is what my channel points look like. I named them premium paw points and it's a little ghost icon that I had commissioned on Fiverr. So if you want to customize how your channel points will appear on your stream, all you have to do is click this little bar here that says edit. You can then change whatever you want your points to be named here. And then you'll just need to have an icon that's both 28 by 28 pixels, 56 by 56 and 112 by 112. Upload those three different sizes to here. And that way you'll be able to change that little icon that shows up next to whatever you call your channel points. And so then you'll hit save and that's what this will look like underneath your chat on your Twitch stream. So once you've customized the actual design of this like channel point section, we can go back and then click on manage power ups and channel points because this is where the magic happens. So starting from the top, we have community challenges where everyone can pool their points together to reach a certain goal that you decide to set. But basically we can click on create a community challenge and we could say, let's do a subathon and so basically we can say if this goal gets met then we will do a subathon and so we can set a goal of i don't know let's say like 30,000 or 10,000. It's really going to depend on how many people are in your stream. So you might have to finagle with this a little bit, kind of understand how many points your audience has to get a better choice of what you should select it at. But it's going to be trial and error and your audience size. So then you can choose the duration of how long your chat is going to actually have to meet this goal. So if you want to have it as long as possible, you can have it set to 30 days. Or if you just want to do it for one stream, then you can have it set to one. So basically, it'll tell you based off of your goal, how many people and the average average how many points that they can contribute, which is a max of 2,000 each day per person. So in, in that case, if you don't have five people with 2,000 on your one stream, you might wanna increase the duration so that way it's a little bit easier to hit your goal. You can also upload a challenge icon if you have like a picture that you wanna use, but just make sure that you have those three different sizes in order to actually import that image as your challenge icon. Then you can choose the background color if you want. Let's do a nice little goosebumps green. And then all you would have to do is look on the right-hand side and. And this is what it would look like. So we have subathon, 30 days to hit it. It'll show the progress bar, the percentage raised, 
Then it will also show this. And then if you click that little drop down arrow, it will show a more detailed view where they can go and contribute to this goal. And then you'll be able to either donate the max or donate a little bit and they can keep clicking that little bit if they wanted to. So let's actually create this one and I'll show you what it looks like on my stream after we hit start, of course. So if you wanna edit it, you can edit it. If you wanna get rid of it, you can delete it with this trash can. But if you wanna start it, we'll hit start and then we're gonna go start challenge and let's go over to my page. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go to chat. You're gonna go to the channel point option down here, which you should be able to see your customizations you made. And then it'll be right at the top of your channel points page. So you can click on that and then you'll be able to donate here. And unfortunately, after you've started a challenge, you're not able to edit it anymore. So if you wanna make any edits, you're gonna have to delete it. So you just hit this little trash can, delete and refund. And it would refund all the people that donated to that cause because you're deleting it and ending it early, which is fine in this case. But if you want to just let it run its course, you can do that. So if you want to have a shorter term challenge, that might be a better route for you. So moving below community challenges, we have these new things called power ups, which are basically channel points. But instead of having channel points, they can just spend bits. So we have three different power up options right now. We have the message effects, gigantify an emote and on screen celebration. If you want to edit any of these, you'll simply hit the edit button next to it. The message effect will write something special below and make it sparkle in chat so it'll stand out in chat you'll be able to change the cost in bits here minimum of 10 and a maximum of 10,000 I don't know who's paying 10,000 bits to make your message sparkle but if that's you come visit me during my stream on Mondays I'd like to have you and then same thing with the background color and reward icon just hit save and your edits will be saved but I'm gonna hit X because I don't really need to do anything here same thing with gigantify and on-screen celebration those are just different effects that will happen if they choose these power-ups for their messages. But getting to the meat and potatoes below, we have default rewards and custom rewards. These are the fun parts of channel points. So the default ones, we have highlight my message, unlock a random sub emote, send a message in sub only mode, modify a single emote and choose an emote to unlock. So these are really good options for people that can't afford to sub to you because it allows them to still participate using your sub emotes without actually needing to pay you financially in order to use those. So this is a nice middle way for them to watch your stream and support you by getting channel points while also still being able to participate using your sub emotes if you have any. So you can feel free to edit or disable any of these here and you can also change the price that it costs to do most of them. Moving down to the custom rewards, this is where you get to have a little bit more fun. There's a couple that I always recommend people have. One of them is lurk so people can just say that they're lurking in your stream without actually saying it. You want to have this cost as like as low as possible so that way they can just do it without having to like waste their points. So I like adding that make me take a sip of water or hydrate is a really popular one so those are great too and literally if you just want to add one you'll scroll all the way down by the way if you guys are wondering what the heck all these red ones are these are sound effects that will play using blurp and I have a whole video covering that so if you want to have channel point sound effects that your viewers can play go watch the video in the top right corner pause this one and then come back because I walk you through exactly how to do it in that video. But we're gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom and we're gonna do add new custom reward. So click that and this is where you'll be able to add a new reward. For example, one that would be a really good descriptor for this is like if you play a game that allows your viewers to play with you, then you could use that as a custom reward to kind of like make it easier to kind of like put people in a line. So in order to do that, we would say play a game with me and then the description would literally just be play a game with me and and this is the cool part you can have a viewer required to enter text so we would enable this and so when we do that it will just add this in the description and like parentheses and say please enter your gamer tag so that way they know like who they need to add or invite to the game so that way if you see here it says send a message so it will not let them use this channel point reward without putting a message so if I take this off you can see now they can literally just redeem it and then you're gonna have to hassle them be like hey well what's your your name and then maybe they won't even respond after that so that's why I recommend requiring viewer to enter text for certain situations like this now if it's make me take a sip of water you can ignore that and it doesn't really matter so now you'll put the cost so something like this should probably be more on the higher end I'm gonna say it really depends on what your audience is and the size and everything this could be total hubbub for you I'm gonna put 3,000 for now if you want you can put channel point reward icons but you don't have to at all it's really not a big deal and you can choose the background color obviously they also have a pre-made icon 
icon gallery. So if you want to, you can click on that link and go download a bunch of pre-made ones and then port them there to customize it a little bit more if you're on a budget. But if we go down below that, we have the skip reward request queue, which can, can kind of fuse people a lot of the time. And personally for me, I don't even really like having the request queue because I just like to fulfill all of my rewards like as they happen. So I personally like to have this enabled because it will skip the rewards queue. So that way I don't have to reject it or accept it. But if you're doing something like I guess this one where it's like play a game with me and then you end stream before you play with them, then you're not going to want to skip the reward queue because then you're going to want to be able to refund them. And if you have it skip the rewards queue, well, then it's automatically going to take their points and there's no way to give them their points back. So I'll show you how to get to the request queue in just a second, but let's just finish up the rest of this here because we're pretty close anyways. So moving on to cooldown and limits, it says use redemption cooldowns and limits for viewers. So if you have something like make me take a sip of water and you don't want to piss your pants all stream, then you're going to enable this and then you're going to have a redemption cooldown timer so you could have it like every five minutes someone could use it or you could set it to limit redemptions per stream like the total amount so you could do like 10 redemptions a stream with no cooldown or you could do it limit redemption per user per stream so if it's just one bad apple that's wanting to make you piss your pants on stream well then you could have it do five per individual per stream. So there's a really a lot of different ways that you can do this in combination. So I'll leave it up to you. But personally, since I'm crazy, I like to have this disabled. And if they want to abuse me on stream, I will piss my pants on stream just to make them happy. I don't know if that's dedication or just pure stupidity, but you can let me know in the comments down below. So since I already know that I have a bunch of requests in my queue, I'm going to leave the skip enabled because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to delete this right after the video anyways. But just for the purposes of this video, we're going to hit create, give it a second, and we're going to go to three thousand which is here and it says play a game with me it is enabled so it is currently turned on so now if we go over to our twitch chat we can actually see it and someone can redeem it if they want so let's go check that out so we're back on our channel we're gonna go to chat we're gonna go to the bottom of chat where we have our premium paw points aka channel points it will show all the new stuff at the top here including your channel points there so you can already see it has been added it says play a game with me we'll click on that and then we'll hit okay to the rules and now it's forcing me to put a message and it says please enter your gamer tag so i'm gonna say it is cody it is not but we're gonna say it is for this video i'm gonna hit enter and send and it's now gonna show at the top of chat that i have redeemed play a game with me for 3,000 channel points and this is the gamer tag or whatever text that i entered in the message. So let's go back real quick. So we're back under our custom rewards. If you wanted to, for whatever reason, you could either delete it or you could simply just turn it off and then it won't appear as an option anymore. So if you want things that are kind of seasonal, you can turn it on and off. Or if you just hate it and you really don't want it anymore, you can just delete it and that would be fine too. So for this purpose, I'm just going to turn it off. It don't really matter. But if you guys want to know how to get to the review request queue, if you end up using that feature, it's going to be right here. So the review requests queue, you can click on that. And then here you'll have a little window that shows everybody that used the channel points that activated that review request queue. So obviously the one that we just did, I said to skip this queue. So that way it just automatically takes their channel points and I don't need to have someone or myself go and mark these as complete or reject. So like this lurk right here, if I know that, you know, they lurked or whatever, this is a bad example because obviously they lurked, but let's just say it was take a sip of water and I took a sip of water, then I can hit mark as complete. It takes their channel points from them. Or if I'm like, okay, well, I didn't do this sip, take a sip of water because I ended stream or I didn't see it. Then you can hit reject and it's going to refund all of those points to that user because you never fulfilled that. I believe also your mods have access to this too under the mod view. So let's actually check real quick. So in order to get to mod view, obviously you have to be a moderator on someone's Twitch stream, but it'll appear at the bottom of your Twitch chat with this little sword that says mod view. So click it. And then as a mod for that stream, you'll see a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to watch the tutorial because you guys are watching me but from here I believe it's somewhere on the left right here it says reward request queue I should probably make a whole video on the mod view but if you guys want that comment down below and I'll make an in-depth guide for all the mods to use this properly but that's another video so we're gonna click on reward request queue try saying that 10 times fast and your mods will be able to help you out with this if you wanted to go that route so now you're probably wondering okay well I got my cool channel points set up for my stream but how do I get the cool alerts to pop up on my stream too because you can have an alert that plays over your stream when someone uses a channel point reward for your stream and if you want to know how to do that it's a little more complicated of a process but lucky for you I have this video to the side of me that'll walk you through it step by step so go watch that video right now my name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one